What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we are back with even more WWE action figure news that you may not believe. It's actually incredible, the news that we have today that I'm very excited about, and we're going to dive into all the details about that, of course, but I think you guys are going to be interested in it as well, and it kind of goes along with our news that we saw just the other day when we talked about the new WWE Ultimate Edition Series 21 that we uncovered or, you know, that was leaked out there, talked about, that's upcoming, and of course, we do know now, if you guys missed the video, it is going to include code. Cody Rhodes, it's going to include Sami Zayn, and it's going to include Kevin Owens, which is an all-modern lineup that we talked about, and we, we just kind of discussed all of that, what attires they could be, and all of those different things, of course, but the story gets deeper, man. We actually have some other stuff, and I cannot remember who sent this to me, or where I saw this, or maybe, I cannot remember, so I do apologize, who I even try. I went through my DMs, my DMs are an absolute wreck, I went through there to try to find the source of the material, However, we do have screenshots. I still have the screenshots on my phone, and they were actually posted up to Walmart.com, apparently, where we have some new listings of upcoming Ultimate Editions. Now, I don't know if they're going to be Walmart exclusive, right? I don't know that stuff, but it kind of confirms what we talked about the other day. Now, I'm just going to shut the hell up. I'm going to show you, of course, they already have the Cody Rhodes up there, which we already know. You know, we've seen the figure. We saw it all. It looks good. Looks great. Looks terrific. WrestleMania 39, Samoan spiking the neck. Couldn't believe it. All those different things. But they also have a listing for Sami Zayn's Ultimate Edition, which is a good sign. That means that this is that the news was confirmed. I told you, Collector Insider bats a thousand. But there's also an Ultimate Edition listing for Kevin Owens. So it looks like that's probably the case. And if you go back to the news video from the other day where we kind of discussed these things, and I pretty much said, you know, this guy knows what he's talking about, yada, yada, yada. And then Walmart putting it up there kind of like seals that. You know, it kind of puts that stamp of approval on it. Well, now we're diving into even more news because Walmart.com had some other listings up, and I want to discuss those other listings right now because we have two new Ultimate Editions to talk about. Now, the first one is going to be WWE Ultimate Gunther. You guys can see here it's $32.97. It's the same price as all the other ones. It's on Walmart.com here. Somebody looked up WWE Ultimates, and it does say WWE Ultimate Gunther. Now, I think it remains true. I think this is going to happen. I think we are going to see this. A Ultimate Edition Gunther figure. Now, we do know that Gunther had an amazing WWE Elite figure this year. It came in very high on our ranking. If you guys missed our ranking of the top 25 WWE Elites of 2023, definitely go check that video out. Out. A lot of fun to make. You guys, you guys know I love ranking figures and stuff, so that was a lot of fun. But an Ultimate Edition Gunther figure would be really nice to pair with that Elite figure. That Elite 102 Gunther was amazing. We saw it back at the WrestleMania Superstore out in LA. Had the red gear, had the red jacket. Just a crazy good figure. If you guys do not own that Gunther figure, even if you don't even like Gunther, like it's just a fun figure. It poses around fantastic, great head sculpt, great accessories, unique, like one of one torso. So, I mean, there's so many great things about that Gunther figure. But having an Ultimate Edition, Edition Gunther to pair with that Elite is crazy. Now, we can kind of get into the fantasy booking of what this is going to look like, and I think there's no real stones about it. I think it's going to be his Royal Rumble 2023 gear where I was front row. Now, I think in one of these photos, you can actually see me front row right there in the in between his legs or something like that, which is crazy, and I hope to go to Royal Rumble 2024 coming up in a month or so. Hopefully, we can make that happen down in Tampa. However, this Ultimate Edition Gunther figure is probably going to be his Royal Rumble gear if I had to guess. Now, there's a lot of things you could do with this Gunther Ultimate Edition. Now, is it the most exciting Ultimate Edition of all time? I don't I don't know. You guys can let me know down in the comment section below. I think his Elite is so good that it's like, I, I don't really know how you can get much better than that, but an Ultimate Edition Gunther, I am there for. I'm going to definitely be in front line for. Now, the only question I have about it is, is it going to have a cloth goods robe like we saw with his Elite figure or his first two Elites? The ringside exclusive Walter and the Elite 102 Gunther both had cloth goods robes and entrance jackets for the man. On the Ultimate Edition, is it going to be a cloth good or is it going to be interchangeable arms with a rubber piece and honestly I think cloth goods is the way to go if it were me booking it I would absolutely say go with the cloth goods I just think it works better in this instance you know it's not a highly sculpted jacket with a bunch of bells and whistles on it like a Finn Balor or Eric Bischoff or an Edge or something like that it's it's mainly just you know the cloth goods does the job I thought the Elite 102 Gunther and the ringside exclusive Ring General Walter both of those entrance jackets or coats were very very nice so I hope they go cloth goods, but who am I, Brad? Who the hell? You know what I'm saying? But if I had to guess, it would be the Royal Rumble gear, Ultimate Edition Gunther. Go ahead and book it. I want to know down in the comment section below.
below are you buying an ultimate edition gunther let me know those things down in the comment section below but now we're diving into the more interesting figure that i want to talk about i think this is a more interesting figure and i'm definitely hella excited for it we're going to get into it now the next listing was wwe ultimates john cena backlash 2023 now this is a very weird listing right here first of all ultimates john cena i'm in the front of the pack right i have the ludicrous john cena collection i'm all in on john cena yeah i'm a connoisseur of john cena collectibles so we're gonna get into that of course but a backlash 2023 now first of all john cena was not at backlash 2023 okay he was not there so i don't really know why it would put 2023 unless it's just that's just the year that the listing was put up right so it will be you know backlash 2023 if it said Backlash 2024, that would make more sense, but it being Backlash 2023 is very weird. So, of course, my mind starts spinning, and I start thinking, okay, well, if it's not Backlash 2023, which he wasn't at, then it would have to be a throwback figure. It would have to be a flashback version of John Cena. Now, I think John Cena has only performed in five Backlash matches in his entire career, if, I, if my memory serves me correctly. 2003, 2006, 2007, 2008, and 2009 are the matches in which he competed at Backlash, which would have to be this Ultimate Edition. Now, if you go through the lore of all of these matches, we can pretty much pinpoint and narrow down what exact attire it's going to be, and I'll give you the reasons on why I can do that. So if you go to 2003, he took on Brock Lesnar, and he came out in this really, it was his Dr. Thugonomics gimmick, so he did have on like the New York Yankee gear. He had like a New York Yankee beanie on, he had a New York Yankee jersey. I don't think they would do this in Ultimate Edition form, just because they couldn't give us the details, right? It would look a lot like the elite, what was it, like 76 John Cena from the the WrestleMania, what was it, 36 or something like that, where he came out as a Doctor of Thugonomics, which is a really cool moment, and that figure's okay, but I don't think they would do that. It would be like the exact same figure almost, but in Ultimate Edition form. I just don't see him doing it. I, I, without the bells and whistles and the cool stuff, I don't think they would do that for John Cena, but I guess anything's possible. I don't think it's 2003. But if we move on to 2006, it was a triple threat match with Edge and Triple H, but in this matchup, it pretty much is identical to his second Ultimate Edition figure, which is the last one, which is one of my personal favorite Mattel figures of all time, the John Cena with the black and white gear with the you can't see me white armband, all those different things. It would be the exact same as that figure. So I do not think it would be, they wouldn't give us that again with, you know, with like pinless joints. I just don't think they would do that exact same attire. It just wouldn't make a lot of sense. If they were going to do that, it would probably be in a greatest hits or something like that, right? It would be a greatest hits ultimate or something of that nature. And I don't think they would label it as backlash. You know what I mean? Like the backlash is in the listing, which is very weird. Like, I don't think we're going to get Walmart exclusive exclusive Backlash Ultimate Editions. Like, that just sounds weird, so I don't know what the hell's going on there, but... Moving on to Backlash 2007, it was a Fatal 4-Way match, an epic Fatal 4-Way match, does that matter, versus Randy Orton, Edge, and Shawn Michaels, a very epic match of epic proportions. Now, this is the one that I think it is. So, in this matchup, he had the one, like, live fast, fight hard gear, it's like the white and black armband with the yellow writing, and then on the other arm, it had the camo with the Dog Pound logo, or like that, you know, the Chain Gang Battalion Bulldog logo, which we've seen in previous figures, which I'll dive into that in just a moment, just just bear with me here. He also had the military style hat and the live fast fight hard t-shirt, which we've also seen, which again, I'm going to loop back to that. I think it's going to be this gear. And I'll, again, I'll let me get through the matches and then we'll run it back. So in 2008, it was another fatal four way versus Randy Orton, Triple H and JBL. But this attire that he wore was the exact same pretty much. I mean, he wore a different shirt, I think. I think he wore the Live Fast Fight Hard shirt, but it was the same as the first Ultimate Edition John Cena with the, you know, the Hustle Loyalty Respect orange and black graphics. Pretty much the exact same figure as that. So again, it ties back into that same thing with the second edition of the Ultimate Edition John Cena. It would probably be a greatest hits figure. I don't think they would re-release that gear. It would just be way too similar. I just don't see them doing so. And then in 2009, he did take on Edge and this attire we've seen twice now. We saw it way back, like a, over a decade ago in Elite Series 3. And then of course, we did get the updated version of that in the top picks wave for John Cena, which was a flashback John Cena with the pinless joints, the blue armbands, you know, the old graphic and the blue and black hat. We've seen it before, right? It's filling up your Walmarts probably. You've seen it a hundred times before. I don't think they would take that figure that was just at retail not too long ago and re-release that as an ultimate edition. Just wouldn't make any sense. So now... 
I'm going back to 2007 and I'm going to explain why I think it would be this matchup. Now, I already explained a bunch of reasons why I don't think it would be any others besides this one, but I also think it's going to be this one because it's the it has the most differences and there's so many things you could do with this specific John Cena to make other John Cenas and you may not give a damn about that, but I'm going to go into the lore anyway. So you do know that we're getting a Backlash Ultimate Edition John Cena. I don't know if it's going to be Walmart exclusive or not. You're just looking at the screenshots like I am on their website, but out of this figure, if they give it, if they give us Backlash 2007 John Cena, which I pray to Jesus they do, not only are we going to get like green and camo Ultimate Edition lowers, which we haven't seen since that WrestleMania 34 lead, but we are going to get a brand new armband that we've been waiting to see for Mattel forever, which is the white and black You Can't See Me armband that was on multiple gears, but we should get a more accurate Chain Gang Battalion Bulldog logo armband with the camo that was from his match, or most synonymously, with his match with Shawn Michaels at WrestleMania 23, which we did get in the WrestleMania 34 Elites, but it was a really crappy version. Like, that figure was so trash. The best thing about that figure was the, the green shorts, because we, we, we really haven't seen that since. It's the only John Cena in green shorts which is why this ultimate needs to take place, but we'll get into that. That figure had no details, very cartoony. The hat wasn't accurate with the, the paint job. The armbands were not sculpted on, first of all. Secondly, they had no paint detail. It was only like two colors. It looked like trash. The shirt was way too small. It was the Live Fast Fight Hard, but it was way too small. There's just so many things they could do with this new, if they do a Backlash 2007 Ultimate Edition. So if you were to release this style figure in this specific gear, if you bought multiples of this Ultimate, Ultimate Cena. You could make WrestleMania 23 with two of the, you know, the putting two of those, you know, the Bulldog logo armbands on there. You could make Royal Rumble 07 versus Umaga, which would be using the second Ultimate Edition Cena white armbands, putting that on both arms with the green shorts from this new Ultimate. You could do the Live Fast Fight Hard with two white bands, which he wore in 2007. I think in, at SummerSlam 2007, I think he wore that possibly. Regardless, he wore it in 2007. Or you could do the white Live Fast Fight Hard with the HLR shirt from the first Ultimate at John Cena. So there is a ton of things that you could do with this John Cena, and not to mention just new head sculpts, possibly a new shoe mold, which we've been begging for. Just a lot of great things that could come out of this Ultimate Edition John Cena, and I know I'm a freak for John Cena Ultimate Editions and action figures in general, so I'm obviously way more invested in this than the common person, but I figured you'd probably enjoy the lore anyways, but... Regardless, you wanted to find out about these Ultimate Editions. Ultimate Edition Gunther and apparently a new Ultimate Edition John Cena with a Backlash tag, which again, I think it's going to be Backlash 2007 if they were going to do that, which is it sounds hellacious to me. Because of all these reasons I just listed, you guys know I'm going to buy 27 of them. So that, uh, yeah, it doesn't really matter what gear it is. I'm going to be the first one to, to buy that thing. Hopefully it's just good head sculpts. That's what I want. A good gear would pr be preferable. And you could knock out so many other different looks of Cena if they do the Backlash. 07. It just makes the most business sense to me personally, but what do I know, Brad? I'm just an idiot behind a microphone. Nonetheless, I think that's pretty much going to wrap up our news video for today. Again, I would love to know down in the comment section below what you guys think of all this stuff. What do you think of the lore? What, what backlash attire do you think it would be? Are you excited for a Gunther Ultimate? Are you excited for another John Cena Ultimate? I'd love to know all those things. The biggest thing I want out of this is if it is 07 Backlash, it has to be an accurately painted hat. It's got to be accurate armbands that have high detail that look good and preferably a new shoe mold. That would make me very happy, but we won't know unless, I mean, this could be, I mean, it's a listing. It's an official listing, and it goes along with our news from the other day with the Cody, the Sammy, the KO, a uh, Gunther. It just makes a lot of sense. I think it's going to take place, but Gunther is another modern roster talent that I know a lot of people aren't really, I don't know, there's a lot of people that don't collect modern roster, save money right there. But then another John Cena. Do people really want another John Cena? I sure as hell do. But uh, you know, I'm not. I'm not the the general public. I'm not just. I'm, I don't have the opinion of everybody. So you guys can let me know. But. That is pretty much going to wrap up the news video, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Had a ton of fun, you know, covering this news and whatnot. And a huge shout-out to the source. I guess it's Walmart.com, but somebody sent me that, and I do apologize for not remembering. However, I'm getting the hell out of here, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Huge shout-out to our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel. Always appreciate those fellas for all their continued support as well. But I am getting out of here, man. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a like on the video if you will. I'd greatly appreciate it. Comment your thoughts down below, and I will see you guys in the next one. Have a blessed one. Christmas is a week away. And I'll see you next time.